previously we machined the throttle mounting block uh, and then we uh, assembled it and then we tapped some oh it's very unprofessional who's been playing with my video clips okay uh, we'll hand over to someone who sounds just like me in the workshop Thank you. So there's three of these in total and they clamp onto the frame, the existing go-kart frame, the round tube just here and here and these allow uh, me to clamp on, there's a foot plate that'll be clamped on, so there's two of those that go on the foot plate and then there's a third clamp that holds the rear drive plate onto the main frame. So I've cut this out one to one uh, because uh, get a little bit low on the 20 millimeter plate uh, just to make sure again this is one to one size make sure we can get this out of this material so let's head over to the CNC and let's get started and the way I check that I'm going to be able to fit the part onto the stock especially if it's an awkward shape piece of stock like that and now in Mac 3 and here's an outline of the part and these two crosshairs here show where the center of the cutter is going to be so if I now jog the machine over to this feature here to make sure I'm going to miss that screw hole so it's going to be somewhere about there when it comes around that corner and we can see on the machine uh, that that's going to miss that screw there and then if we go to the other side I'm just manually jogging it to get it somewhere close well, there we are now we're on the the other side so don't forget it's going to the center of it's going to follow that line there we can equally check that we're not going to run off the side of the stock so if we go to this side so this is where the center of the cutter is going to go and you can see on the stock that that's about a couple of millimeters in so that's fine and so on we can go around the part and just check a few areas and make sure we're going to fit it on So there were three tabs holding this part in place. I've manually machined the tab off on the right, just leaving the two nearest and I can easily then just wobble the part free. So now we're going to clean it up. And now we're ready for OP2, which is the holes and the counter balls in the top. Okay, so for OP2, we've now got the part in the vise. We've got it up on parallels and this edge is flush with this vise edge here. We're touched off on the two sides and the top and we're ready to put our two counter balls in here they're 15 millimeters diameter eight deep and these are for the socket head screws to go into here and here and then after that we'll drill out these these m5 holes ready to tap those so here you can see the parallels that it's resting on and we're basically going to counter bore here and here and then put our two tapped holes in the center. Okay, that's the basic machining done. So we've got our counter bores and our holes 
these are the pilot holes for the M5 tapped holes and you'll see those the 8mm holes don't go all the way through that's because I had my parallels behind here and I didn't want to drill into those uh, I was going to do it on the pillar drill but I think I'll just uh, take the last millimetre or so out with the uh, cordless, shouldn't take long now I'll just tidy that up okay, we'll break these edges with uh, this is a snail countersink, I really like using these just got this cutting edge on here they leave a really nice finish So first is our 4.2 pilot. So when I tap it next, it will tend to raise a burr, and that will help stop that. Okay, here it is finished and cleaned up. So we've got our M8 counterbores holes here, our M5 holes, we'll see what those are for in a later video, and the two areas here to clamp onto the frame. Okay, all I need now are another two. Okay, now we'll move on to the drive plate. So this is the plate that will house the motor, the axle. It basically bolts onto the back of the cart. And you probably won't be able to see all the details in here, but there are a number of slots. So there's uh, four slots here for where the motor goes. There's a large cutout here for the drive system. Uh, there's two slots here there for the uh, brake disc. And then there are a number of holes that either hold this plate onto the chassis or there's pairs of holes across here that hold the bearings for the rear axle. Okay, so we're back over at the CNC machine. We've got the stock clamped down onto the spoil board. First stop is to drill some holes so we can then put some screws through and help hold the part down while we do some of the other machining ops.
drilling these holes out a bit larger to 4.2 because that's the uh, pilot size of the M5 tap. And uh, let's get you off my elbow. Okay. And a countersink so it, uh, it doesn't raise a burr when I thread them next. There's two more to do under these screws. Here I'm using a thread guide I made, it's just a bit of mild steel to turn on the lathe and it's got the thread down the center, just helps get the thread started and keep it square to the hole. Uh, but once the thread started, I normally take it off because it stops the swarf coming out. So now the thread started and square, I can finish it off right to the bottom. So I've got the frame stripped down just to the basic components now, ready to, to clean it up. Uh, the only thing I need to do before I do that is this bracket. This bracket was basically the only thing that holds the rear end sort of together and uh, not surprisingly uh, the weld has given way. But in the new design I don't need that so I'm just going to break this bit off and then we'll clean everything up, give it a spray, uh, make sure it's all tidy and then we're ready to start trying out some of the components. So the only thing holding it on was that little bit of weld there. Okay, go on. <laughs>
Okay, let's start uh, rebuilding it. So the first thing to go on is the steering gear. That's here. That mounts at the front, and then we've got these uh, pins that need to go through. So we'll get that aligned. The first one in. That's one. Hold on, let's get this ready. Okay, push the pin through. That's it, wiggle it in. Push it in. Yeah, done. Right, let's turn it over and put the Starlock washers on. So this is the pin that we just pushed through from the other side and there's a star washer got to go on there and on the other side. So let's go and do that. Okay, so here's our star washer. Okay, there's one done. Okay, I've turned it round, now we're going to do the other side. Okay, so it's, it's upside down at the moment, but uh, we need someone just to try the steering out, make sure it works. Looks good. Okay, well done, yep. Yeah. Thank you.